So there were some crazy landslides that just covered absolutely everything. Well, not only did it cover your house, but apparently it covered this school. Aww. Now imagine that we are uh, explorers 20,000 years in the, in the future, and we have found, we have, we have found, we've dug into the school and we have found certain artifacts. I have four different pieces of, infor let's call them information, four different things around this room. Uh, and what I want to ask you to do is I have a little worksheet for you that has some questions on it. And I'm going to have you set up into four groups. And your group's going to go around and you're going to try and answer the questions about the different particular things. So let me show you where they all are. Uh, number one is uh, our first station. Our station number one is over here at our table. It's our, it's my little cup gnome. It's our cup garden gnome. Somehow, amazingly, he survived 20,000 years buried in the school. Right? I don't know how, but uh, it's probably because he's cubs and he's awesome. Uh, so that's station number one. Station number two are these two maps up here. Uh, these are this is the front side of this map and this is the back side of the same map okay so if you need any information it should be either on this side or this side to help you answer this question okay so somehow these plastic laminated mats our maps survive okay so they survive so we found these maps and then we're going to answer questions about those um, now this one station number three I'm gonna have to ask you to stretch your imagination just a little bit further Okay, because this is a um, this is a print off of an actual painting. Now imagine that I actually had this painting in my classroom, and somehow this painting survived twenty thousand years. Okay, so you're going to evaluate this painting, okay, based on the questions that I give you. All right. Station number four, the final station. Egypt. No. Station number four. This is the final station. This is our final station. It's actually one of the uh, things in our textbook. This will be helpful because it's actually something that you will use and read in your textbook. So you're going to evaluate this particular thing in your textbook. But before we get started on doing this, I want you to really quickly uh, take a look in your world history book at the questions that are being asked and how you ask them about different each one of these different things. So, uh, really quickly, if, uh, let's see, uh, trees, please go get a world history book. As soon as the trees are done, uh, windows, you can go and then. So, you guys are doors. Trees, all right, looks like all the trees have books. So, yes. 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 Uh, what did I say? Windows next? Windows, please go get books. Windows, please go get books. Uh, turn to pages, um, is it H6? Seven, H6, 7, 8, 9, 8. Yep, H6. I just want you to just to read through these quickly, because we did 3 and 4, which are talking about how to analyze different pieces of literature. I want you to look at the next set. Uh, Doors, please go get one. I know where you got kicked. All right, once you guys are, while you guys are reading through these really quickly, I'm going to come around and I'm going to give you a number, one through four. Once I give you your number, remember it, because that's what group you're going to be going, you're going to be in, and that's what station you're going to go to first. So maybe you don't know. Okay, all right. So I want you to quickly read through uh, pages uh, H6 through H9. H6 through H9. Ready? All right, give me a number. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two,
Four. Check. Two. Four. One. Two. Three. Four. Four. That worked out perfect. Five. Okay. Get back to reading. 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 You guys need to just quickly read through. You don't need to read through the questions because I'm going to give you the questions. But just a little paragraphs about each one of those. It should always take about two minutes to read through those. If you're actually reading, Anthony, instead of comparing, just your children. You scared me. Please put your name at the top of the sheet that I'm handing out, or that I just handed out. <coughs> now you may need to use a separate piece of paper to write out your answers because there's not a lot of space on there. In order to fit all the questions on one page, uh, I had to make them kind of small, so there's not a lot of space on there. So if you need to use a separate sheet of paper, that is fine, you may. Make sure that you put your name on top of that paper too. It's your journal from last year. You left it in my room. Okay. If you were labeled number one, if I gave you the number number one, you guys are going to start out at table number one, and you're going to try and answer those questions as best as you can in your group about artifact number one. If you are in group number two, if I gave you number two, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to come over here to station two. And you're going to answer the station two questions. All of the questions? All five questions about station number two. If you're in station three, you're going to come to station three. If you're in station four, if I give you a four, you're going to go to station four. Answer all of the questions about your particular thing. There's only like four or five questions. I don't think any one of them have any more than five questions. Yeah, is there six on the first one? Okay, I might bet. Six on the first one. That's the first one's good. So there's six questions on it. That's okay. Six questions, what's one more? If you're doing five, what's one more? Great. Okay, so uh, if you, uh, whatever number you have, please go to it. Make sure while you're discussing in your groups to do it at a very quiet level so that other groups can concentrate. If it gets, starts getting too noisy in here, we'll come back and sit down and read this more and more. No. I'm going to put up a timer and we're going to rotate when we hit the timer. Do I have a clipboard? No, I do not. There's plenty of desks and tables around that you should be able to use. All right, we're going to do seven minute timer. The seven minute timer is going to seven minutes at each station. That should be more than enough to figure out all the questions. What do you know?
You guys have about a minute and a half left. How many groups need more time? Need more time. Okay.
I'm not exactly on your accuracy because everybody's going to ask something different. Wait, so what are they reading for? Uh, 1865, but that's not the Civil War. So what is it reading for? What is one of their original intentions? Just under five minutes. Thank you. 
four seconds, put your last load. Hip edge down.
If you finish, if you finish your artifact tour, what I want you to do is I want you to staple. I'm gonna put the stapler up here by uh, station number three. If you have used a blank piece or a separate sheet of paper, staple it to your top thing. If you did not, just turn it in, put it into the top box. We finished out.